okay. Will you tell us your name? Hani. Hani? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Syria, Sweda. Sweda. Yeah. And uh, why did you, why are you here? Why are you here working with Jesuit? Uh, why I'm here? Because I must move from Syria because uh, my, my city is safe place, but actually I'm finished my study. I don't have uh, any reason to stay in Syria. If I'm staying in Syria, I must go to the war, to the military service. So actually, I am choose to go out. It's not a good thing because I have my work, my friends, everything in Syria. Uh, I'm come here to Lebanon from five months, I think, it's a five months. I'm working with Jusur because I must work in something I love it, NGOs, my dream. When I was in second year in university, I take a course about uh, the organization. So I'm so interested in this part. Yeah. So the uh, work in 2011 began in Syria, so all people work in NGOs, and, and I'm involved in this uh, part. Uh, I'm choose Yusur because I'm always listen. I, I heard about Yusur, Yusur from internet, from uh, some student take a, a scholarship because Jusur give the, the yeah. young people scholarship. College. So yeah, from college. So I'm always interested in, about this place. When I'm come to Lebanon, I'm come here. I'm always asking about the place to find the school. Yeah. And I'm um, at the door and say, hi, I'm from Syria. I need to meet somebody here in Jusur. Yeah. Uh, so I meet Heba. I work like a volunteer for one month here. After that, um, take my life along. After that, they called me. We need a teacher. We can uh, make a workshop about teaching, and after that, to work with us as a teacher. So it's a new experience to me to work as a teacher. Yeah. What are some of the challenges um, that you've experienced? Um, you know, working working with Jasur and the limitations. Yeah. You know. Yeah. for how how much you can do as a teacher for the kids you can do a lot of things because uh, you have uh, actually every day four hours to stay with the children in the same room so we can change uh, her their mind her idea about life so I'm um, understand now what uh, that teacher do mm -hmm. <laughs> before that I'm um, think teacher he give uh, the student lesson and to go away no, the teacher he can change the behavior for children. Yeah. So now I'm so feel bad because when I child I hate my teacher. I don't love the teacher. Yeah. But now I'm I'm feel the teacher is so important in yes. life. Um, I can make a lot of things for children. Now after uh, three months, this month is four. Yeah. I I I touch the change that happens in my class. Um, maybe I need more space to make a, a lot of things for these ch this children. Um, maybe some new tools or some st new stuff to work with, uh, new idea. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult, I, I, but actually I can make the, that change and affect the people. Exactly. Yeah, in this exactly. place. Um, tell us about some of your students and their challenges, where they come from, where they live, yeah. um, and how important Jasur is to yeah. the students. Uh, here in Beirut, uh, the Jasur is more important for the ch children because they don't have a place to play or have uh, space alone. He live in small houses in a place in Beirut named Sabra Shatila. This place is not so good because the home uh, building in a uh, messy way everywhere so the sun don't come through the house uh, uh, small room maybe two families live together because uh, don't have money to buy so so it's cheaper to sharing the same flat two families so maybe sometimes we have uh, six children live together in the same room with her parents so it's so bad uh, <coughs> i feel uh, small children don't have the space to to feel they have own thing uh, sometimes i ask the children to to put the drawing, he draw something in uh, in the wall in her house or room. So they didn't can do this because they don't have the space for <coughs> for himself to put something. Hmm. Um, sometimes I'm visit family there. Yeah, 
in my class. I'm going to the, her, the house. So bad. Don't imagine that. I feel the people he live in Biqa is better. Because he have uh, actually yard to play or something. But uh, he didn't. Sabra <coughs> Shadila has two choices. Uh, stay at home or go to the street and learn something bad in the street. Because the place is so bad. Yeah. He, he learned something uh, dirty thing in the street. So um, your students, <coughs> how have they been impacted by the war in Syria? I have a lot of cases in my class. Maybe we have uh, um, we, here in Jesur we just education that children. Sometimes we have make the support, but um, we don't have a class or uh, hours to work with the children. But we have many cases so bad. Some uh, children come. Uh, we can meet it uh, next time. From Syria, from one month, he came from uh, some small place in Aleppo. He was at war, so he escaped and came to Lebanon. It's from Le Aleppo. Aleppo. So actually, the girl uh, don't want to draw anything. <coughs> when I'm ask the girl, why you don't drawing anything? Don't and don't love color and don't love drawing. Mm. After one week, uh, he beca uh, she began to uh, try to draw something. He always draw a house with uh, one window and two girls in this window. When I'm asked the children why you draw this thing, he said uh, when we escaped from the house, uh, my uncle, uh, my aunt, and I don't know another girl his name, uh, he's still in the house and we leave and I'm seeing the uh, bomb come to the house. So I think uh, this children he need a lot of work to be uh, to through this problem and complete the house. So I have many cases because I'm always talk with children. So I um, know a lot of things happened <laughs> in their home or sometimes he, he told me my mom uh, make a problem with my uh, grandmother and my grandmother hit my mom and something like that. He always have this problem or the father hit the children and the mother so he don't live in the good way, in, in good place man, actually. Maybe I'm thinking if we have uh, extra time to <coughs> to practice for the parents to to how you can deal with the problem in the with house. Discipline. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I believe the woman is so important part in the family. Yeah. So when you learn the woman, so the the whole family can make control. Yeah. So I'm well, the, I, I can break it. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you. sometimes I'm asked the children, some, some family come here to take the children. So I'm talk to some mothers. So when talk to mothers, the many things change. In this child, because uh, I, I believe the woman can make change in the world. So, yeah. so maybe I always think if you can have a class for the parents to come and learn something for parents, you know, you yeah. must uh, uh, care the children, don't hit the children, you know, you know. So it's better. Yeah. But actually, I don't have a lot of problem. My class is good. Yeah. My problem not in my class actually. Mm. Your your class is very amazing. Yes. Very well, my smart. class is good. Today you, you taught about Pinocchio? Yeah, we talk about Pinocchio because uh, uh, we finish the class, we take math, and after that we have maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. So I think, we, I ask the children what you want to do, say, tell us a story. So I choose Pinocchio because I have a problem. Some children steal something in the class. So I choose this story because give him some information about stealing yeah. and what's this so bad. And you can notice after that he told you. So that was the student. The, the student he steals. Your, uh, yeah, yeah. And so he came and he told me. He told me if you steal, yeah. <laughs> so I know he steal some colors in the class, but actually I can't go and say, oh, steal something. It's yeah. not a good way. So actually I told story. After that, he came Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he came up. He was so sweet. He whispered in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, you, if, if you tell the truth, God will love you. Love you. Yeah, he said, yeah, if you don't steal, God will love you. God will so he understand <laughs> that you don't to steal. Um, I told you, I'm always uh, try to give the children uh, uh, <coughs> something love it in class to be at, uh, be in class. So always have a drawing, maybe sometime make some jokes. I'm always uh, uh, yeah, uh, motivation is <coughs> so important in my class. Um, sometimes we we we, t we move all discs and sit in the ground and make something funny. Don't take yeah. a lesson. <laughs> if the manager know, he will kill me. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes we, he need, he he feel boring sometimes, and we don't take anything. No, today. Kids so need that. He needs space because we don't have 
space to play or uh, uh, talk about himself. So he needs this place <laughs> in school. Uh, I'm to it. I'm try. Yeah. To this. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. Thank you for for speaking with me. Yeah. Me too.